channel 33 RPM. Fasten your seatbelts, channel 33 ers because today we're going record shopping. Broadcasting from Edmonton, Alberta, it's channel 33 RPM. Channel 33. Hey guys, Frank here, channel 33rpm.com, coming at you every Sunday with a new episode. Today we're checking out the vinyl at London Drugs. That's right, a drugstore that sells records. Follow me. Hi, I'm Kent. I'm the audio video manager here at London Drug South Edmonton Common. It is a Western Canadian chain. We go as far as uh, the West Coast all the way to Manitoba. It's probably one of the only places where you can get a prescription and pop in and look at some uh, some televisions and some vinyl and some music. So there's 400 titles in store and, and that many are more available online as well. We're in a society that everybody's so used to buying their music in, in digital format and when you have digital you own a bunch of ones and zeros and while it's great to go jogging with, um, if you want real refined pure sound there's nothing that beats this i don't know if there is a typical customer i think that's what is so unique about vinyl it's truly a, a, a whole span i've got a lot of favorite records but i think my favorite one is 1984 by van halen and it's not so much from a technical standpoint it's just the the memories that it evokes at a certain time of my life okay let's check out the records ill communication i love this album i don't have it on vinyl Jake Bug, I haven't heard of Jake Bug. 13, I actually love 13, that was a great comeback album. Clash, on sale. Dave Matthews, Deluxe LP, Cars, Johnny Cash. Found a blue box set. That looks pretty cool. Oh, the new Billy Idol. I haven't heard this one. Electric Wizard, this is cool. You can get aspirin, band-aids, and Electric Wizard all in the same place. Made in England. I'd love to get this one. I just hesitate because it's a picture disc. Physical graffiti. Reservoir Dogs. Sheep Dogs. Canadian Band. That's cool. It's got a Obi type strip on the side too. Hey, I'm back in the music room. I ended up grabbing a few really cool records today, which I'll show you in a moment. But first, I want to give a big thank you to Kent and Natalie and everyone at London Drugs for going along with my crazy idea of shooting a video there today and also for putting up with me for two hours. I had an absolute blast. And I love what these guys are doing for vinyl. They're exposing a whole bunch of people who otherwise would never see a record to the whole vinyl experience. And for guys like me, it's super convenient. You can pop in there, grab some records and some accessories. So for that, you guys are definitely doing it right. The first record I got was Muddy Waters with the Rolling Stones live at the Checkerboard Lounge in Chicago in 1981. And really, this is more of a Muddy Waters record. There's only three Rolling Stones on here, um, Mick, Keith, and Ronnie Wood, uh, plus their piano player. Um, but from the clips I saw, it sounds like a phenomenal concert and a little bit of rock and roll history, so I was glad I picked it up. The packaging is really cool too. It folds out three times. In the middle there, you can see it comes with the DVD of the concert and the two records are on the sides, including record one on white vinyl and record two on black vinyl. Next up is the Beastie Boys Ill Communication, another record I've wanted for a while, so super happy to pick it up today. There's the front and there's the back. This is also a gatefold. There's the inside with some artwork and some lyrics. It's a double record on 180 gram vinyl and it's black vinyl. Another record I've wanted for the collection for a while, this is Robert Johnson, The Complete Collection. It's a two record set, 180 gram vinyl. It's a gatefold sleeve. There's the inside with some photos and there's the back. These are all tracks recorded back in the 1930s and has 29 songs on it, which are the apparently the only 29 songs that Robert Johnson ever recorded. Colin James, this album 15, which not so coincidentally is his 15th record. This came out in 2012. And for those of you not familiar with Colin James, he's kind of a blues, rock, poppy kind of guy. And I dig some of his older stuff. I actually haven't heard this record yet. 
yet, so I'm looking forward to giving it a spin. That's all I have for you today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for liking and sharing. That goes a long way to helping this channel grow. And if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to click that button so you never miss another episode again. Until next time, vinyl friends, keep on spinning.